This field's pretty empty right now, but on Easter Sunday, March 31st, it's going to be filled. It just packed out with bounce houses and nerf battles and painting. The wind's going to be blowing. It's going to be a fantastic day, and I need you to do two things for me, uh, preferably before you come on that day. The first is to register, and register just means get us your children's name, get us your name, get us a contact phone number so I can link the two of you in our system so that when you get here, you can punch your phone number in, and it prints off our safety badges, which are an extremely important and required thing that I need every one of my volunteers and every kid who's here to do. The kid will get a label with their name on it, so we can refer to your kid by their name, and it'll also have a code on it. Now, the parent also gets a matching sticker that has that code on it. The only person who can pick your child up has to have that sticker. All right, that is why we need to have that done. It, it lets me know who's on site, who's on property, and what specific needs they might have. There might be allergies, there might be medical needs, there might be anxiety needs. You have a chance to put those things in when you register, and it matters to me, it matters to us as a church to handle them as an individual. The second thing that I need you to do is to fill out that bounce house waiver. Each year we update our bounce house waivers. It just makes sure that the church is covered and that you are covered and that we're all in agreement with all your sorts of information so you're kicking. Have a good time. We'll make sure that they get a, uh, a wristband so that we know that they've got their waiver filled out. Now, you can do both of these things. You can register them when they get here and you can fill out the bounce house waiver when you get here. But to make your Easter Sunday go smoother, quicker, get you in the service, get them out here, please do both of those things in advance. You should be able to find links in the description and online at restorechurch.net.